Hello, my name is T.C. Albert. I write the Doing It Yourself column for Muzzleloader Magazine. And the November, December 2013 issue is going to be about how to restore a broken powder flask. Powder flasks are one of my favorite accoutrements. They were made in the 15th or 16th century to have a portable way to carry powder to reload firearms. At first they were made from things like horn, ivory, or antler. This is an early horn version. I made it myself to represent a flask that might have been used at Jamestown. This is a commercial antique made in the late 1700s. It's called a Queen Anne powder flask. The stopper actually unscrews to make a measure. Commercial flasks were made from the 1700s on and eventually evolved into pressed brass or copper, other non-ferrous type metals that were easily stamped and soldered into flasks. Some of the earliest versions, like this replica sold by Track of the Wolf, had a flame-proof spout. As if you notice, these flasks have an open end that could easily catch a spark and ignite the whole, whole powder flask. The flame-proof spout is actually a neat little mechanical device. The ring that it actually attaches to the flask and the spout with the cutoff lever. Usually they had an adjustable end so you could throw a bigger or lesser charge. Spouts like these were simply soldered onto the press flask body see how they fit together in this old original was screwed together here's another nice old original adjustable spout when Colt first made his Patterson he made a commercial flask his flask actually loaded all five cylinders of the Patterson pistol at once you can see this has five spouts five plungers. Just one plunge would fill the cylinder all by itself. That idea was carried well into the 20th century with this CVA version. Kind of the same, just a piece of pipe with threaded ends and a stopper with a mechanical spout on it. Little pistol flasks and big musket flasks like this peace musket that was used during the Civil War. Flasks are nice, and original ones can be quite valuable. Sometimes you find a flask like this one. It's just a pressed horn flask, metal end. All the ends were turned to the same size so that a mechanical metal spout could fit. The only thing is, Somebody stole the end off of this one to use it for something else. Maybe a metal drive, a scrap drive, maybe the spring broke and they just threw it away. The November-December article is going to be how to repair a flask like this using simple, commonly available hardware tools. I hope you pick up that copy. Follow along and learn how to repair a flask by doing it yourself.